Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share my office with you. I wanted to give you a little office tour. I had originally filmed this on my, my DSLR camera, but I think my vlogging camera might be a little bit better quality. So I'm gonna try and like film a plan with me on this camera too and just see how it goes. But um, yeah, I'm gonna give you a little tour around my office. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. I make new videos every single week. It's free and you will get a notification every time I upload, so it's pretty good. So I will leave a little link here for you to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I hope you like this little tour around my office and let's get started. So when you first walk in the door, you kind of have to be a little bit careful because I have my filming table here. This is where I film all of my plan with me videos and all of my sticker videos. I have two soft box, light box lights here and my tripod, which is, oh, and a Baymax, hello. <laughs> and my tripod, which is actually sitting on the floor with the back leg, and then I have the two other legs sitting on this little board here. This board here, Gary actually made for me with just some spare wood that he had in his work truck. Um, we put it together with just nails and wood. We spray painted it white and then kind of like distressed it a little bit. So this is actually the background of all of my planning videos. Um, this is Baymax's chair. He likes to hang out with me when I work all day. So he sits in this chair all day and he's currently trying to get some tape off my desk. Oh no, he's licking his paws. <laughs> So yeah, if you're ever, ever curious as to what my background is for all my planning videos, this is it. And it was super cheap to make, super simple, and I really, really like it. So coming back over to the doorway to the left, I keep my ring light, which I use for filming like face-to-face -face videos. I need to get a different tripod for it though because <laughs> it's not very sturdy. I bought this tripod and thought I was getting a really good deal, but it turns out that it was a really tiny tripod, so it's not very great, but it does the job. Over here, I have a Rask Cog cart from Ikea. Um, this is obviously the turquoise one. And on the top shelf here, I have all of my planners. So I have my day designer, bandeau planner. I have my Erin Condren's. Um, I have some notebooks, Kiki K's. I have like a binder with stickers in it and just some more notebooks and stuff like that. And on the end is my Filofax Malden. In here, I just have a hole punch. I have a bag that I use to take orders to the post office. And this is a clip, or this is a planner band from La Petite Lettre. So yeah, I will leave that shop linked down below if I remember, but I really like her planner bands. On the second shelf here, I have a crate full of all of my stickers. It's not the best sticker organization system, so I'm not gonna recommend it or anything. But um, yeah, I thought that it was gonna be good, but I think I need to like kind of break down my stickers into like some better categories because right now they're very broad and I'm finding it hard to find things. <laughs> and as you can see, the crate is like way too big for the amount of stickers that I have. So it's not really working out. <laughs> On the bottom here, I have some leftover yarn that I was going to use in a project, but I decided against it and I just used a different Etsy shop instead. But um, I decided to keep the yarn because I actually do like crocheting. So I'm gonna buy a crochet needle or hook and I'm going to crochet something. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that. I like the color too. So maybe I can make myself a blanket or something. To the right of my Rascog cart, I have this um, what do you call it? These are shells from Ikea. It was originally like this one and they were like all squares, but Gary and I punched one of the um, walls out and we decided to make like the top part long so I could put my printer in there. So I have my two printers here. Those two boxes on the left um, hold all of my ink. And then the magazine holder on the left holds like all of my kind of random paper, like that isn't sticker paper that I use for the shop. Um, and then in the bottom doors there, I have all of my sticker paper for the shop, but I'm not gonna go in there because it's a trade secret. On the top here, I also have my little Bose speaker that my parents got me for Christmas. Um, I don't really use it that often. I used to use it a lot more before I got my Mac, but my Mac has really good speakers. So hopefully in the new place, we can use this a little bit more. Moving over to the right, I have my desk and I love this desk. I can't remember exactly what it's called. Um, everything in here is from Ikea, by the way, all of the furniture. 
but this desk used to have a top on it, but I got a new iMac and it's a 27 inch and it wasn't gonna fit in there. So I took the top off and I decided just to make it into like a corner unit desk. And I think it like, it opens up the room a lot more. So I actually really like it. But first of all, these drawers are also from Ikea. And on the top here, I just keep my planners. So this is my vertical planner and then underneath is my horizontal. And this is a yellow legal pad that I just use to write down notes. This is a perpetual calendar that I use to plan my videos and stuff. Then moving on to my desk, we just have a little, I think that was a candle holder. I'm not entirely sure, but I just keep pens in it. Then to the right of that, I just have this little like ornament. I'm not even sure where I got it. And then I also have a Christmas candle from Bath and Body Works because I bought a lot of candles at Christmas time. On top here, I just put some photo booth pictures from the wedding that Gary and I went to in Ireland when we were there. I think they're really funny and I, I really like photo booth photos. I wish that I took them like more often. Maybe I'll make that a rule. Anytime I see a photo booth, we have to take a picture because I really like them. And I think that they're like really great memories to have. Moving on to the right of that, I have my iMac. This is the newest version of a Mac. It is the 27 inch 5K with retina display. Um, I just got this last month. I was like lusting after it for a very long time and I'm so happy that I got it. The screen is huge. So like sometimes I just sit in here and watch movies at my desk because the screen is so big, um, but I love it so much. Then I just have my keyboard here and my trackpad. I decided to get a trackpad because I just really don't like the mice, the like wireless mouse from Mac. So I decided to get a trackpad. This is my Polaroid zip. As you can see, those are the holes that we pulled out from taking the top of the desk off. <laughs> so I just cover them with my zip. To the right, I just have a bunch of fake flowers and this is my absolute favorite color. So I had to have them in my office. I have some of those pop figurines. I have Ariel and Baby Groot because they're like my two favorite characters, even though I do need to get a little Baymax one too. Um, I have this candle that is from HomeSense and then in the back there I just have two things of hand cream because the air is so dry in Calgary that I always have to use hand cream. To show you a little bit of what's on top of my desk, I have these frames. This was just a plain frame from Ikea that I spray painted gold. Like you can see, it's not perfect, but I don't mind. Um, and then I made this print in Photoshop. So it just says office, sweet office, and I used some of the clip art that I had from the shop. I have this one, this ampersand sign in a white frame. I got that in HomeSense. This one says, who says my dreams have to stay just my dreams? And I guess Ariel said that. I don't remember her saying that, but <laughs> I guess she said it. Um, I got that on Etsy. These two, I got the prints in a Heidi swap set um, in Michaels. And then to the right of that, I have some of my Beachbody surf certificates. I can't speak <laughs> from when I hit Ruby and when I hit Diamond. Then to the right of those, I have three clipboards and these were just plain clipboards that I decided to spray paint into various colors that I wanted in my office. And these prints came from the same Heidi Swap set that I got in Michaels. Hey Max, you know you are not allowed up there. What are you doing? Moving on to the right of my desk, I have all of my silhouette portraits and I have these three portraits sitting in a shoe rack <laughs> that I got in Walmart, but I put some strip lights underneath just so, well one, for ambience and two, so that like the registration marks work and everything like that. Um, just to the right of that, I also have a scotch laminator. I don't really use that very often, but I like to keep it around just in case. Underneath in these first shelves here, I have all of my stock. I just made those dividers from cardboard, no, from cardstock paper. Um, so I just keep all of my stock in there. And then to the right of that, I have books. These are actually, um, what are they called? <laughs> They're actually boxes. So I have like all of my washi in there. And then I think that one, I just have like pencils and stuff. Um, in this one, I have all of my misprints that I'm going to sell off and bundle together. Under there, I have like all of my, my receipts and taxes and stuff. In these doors here, I just have my cardboard mailers and some labels. And then in this one here, I have some paper pads, a Kiki K that I'm saving for a giveaway, some Project Life cards, and then I have some more receipts in that little magazine holder there. 
To the top of that, I have all of the mystery kits that I'm sending out this month, and I also have all of the stock that I've yet to cut. <laughs> I have a lot of cutting to do. And then in the back, I have thank you cards because I do like to send them out every now and then. And then to the right of that in the last little shelf, I have my blue snowball microphone that I like to use for voiceovers or for my podcast that is yet to be released yet. <laughs> and then to the right of that, I have this really awesome mason jar vase. Well, I use it as a vase and I got it from my newest addiction. I'm not sure if she still does them, but it says pretty on paper. It's my old logo, but I really love it. It's so cute. I do need to get different flowers for that though. I kind of want to get ones that match the other ones that are on my desk in my favorite color. In these drawers, I just have all of my wires there and then I have like kind of laminators. I have some mats under there, some blades and stuff like that. So I hope you guys liked that little overview of my office. It's not that big. There's not that much to it, but it does the job. And I really like the way that I've decorated it so far. And I hope that like I can decorate the new place in the same way or even better. So yeah, like I said, if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I will be back to you in my next video. Bye. Why are you crying? Oh, ow! <laughs>